Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to draw denim fabric. We will learn two simple ways of doing the denim textures using just your pencil colors. You can also combine watercolors or even markers for doing the base. Just how I am doing on this first one. So I am using the Stedler's Luna watercolor pencils, which also acts like your watercolor only and you can simply use a watercolor base if you don't have the watercolor pencils and let it dry and over it you can use your simple pencils for giving the textures now denim fabrics do have this rough textures for which i think pencil colors are a great choice and you can easily blend two to three shades of your own preference and you can keep on increasing the shade level like how dark you want the color to be so here you can see that i have already given the base and i will let it dry after that i will take that pencil and start doing the coloring from the corners now remember in the denim fabric start doing the colors from the corners and go towards the center with gradation type of effect that is make darker strokes in the corner and keep on moving towards the center with softer strokes so here i have used the same pencil color to give the base and using the same pencil only i'm giving the textures so here I'm using one single shade to give the effect. You can also combine uh, double colors like a lighter color and a darker color and uh, that I will show you in the next denim pan which is more like a cargo. Also I'm creating this textures which are going horizontally across the pan and uh, do use very lighter strokes don't use darker stroke just at the beginning itself you can keep on putting the pressure very slowly and uh, you can go with very softer strokes initially if you think that you can go one uh, shade more dark then you can layer the color after it so i think guys initially we can go with very soft stroke and then if we feel that we can go a little bit more darker then we can increase the color saturation by putting more pressure on the pencil so here everything depends on the pressure of your hand how you are handling the pencils also giving a smooth color to the whole outline that is guys don't let the colors bleed out of the pencil uh, outline here that is what you have drawn with the pencil so you can maybe start with a simple outline with the color then start filling inside the portion here so yeah you can give the outline and after that start shading from outer corner towards the inner corner You can try giving this kind of strokes going vertically which will give you that crisscross effect of the denim weave and uh, while you do this guys start with very lighter strokes and uh, don't make the lines too prominent otherwise it will not look very realistic and uh, since the fabric is a little bit textured you can start uh, from the center also and uh, let there be a little bit whitish portion let there be a little bit darker portion overall 
this light and dark will combine together and give you that nice faded effect of the denim fabric so yes do manipulate your pressure where you have to give the lighter strokes and where you have to give the darker strokes have total control on your hands and uh, this is actually very easy with little bit practice you will definitely master that uh, pressure effect of your hand you just need little bit practice so yes always take reference pictures and uh, keep on doing your daily practice for the tiny details i am going with a darker shade of the similar blue color family so that it doesn't look too odd and uh, the color kind of blends in with the first uh, shade which we have given and with this one we have given the detail of the stitch lines and the little pockets detailing and uh, also uh, the outer corner you can see guys i am shading on the outer corner and then slowly building the color towards the inner corner this way we will have a nice faded kind of effect and a more whitish look on the center For the ripped effect I will first use a grey pencil to give the shade on the skin and over it I will use acrylic with thin brush to give the ripped effect. You can also use gel pens or poster colors just make sure that the white color is standing out and also give necessary uh, shadow to the threads here otherwise it will not stand out so we also need to give little bit darker shadow effect with gray and even you can take a very sharpened black this way the thread effect will look more realistic so yeah take your time and uh, here you can see guys i'm also creating that little darker effect on the skin with the brown pencil so anyway our uh, main goal is to make the thread look more realistic and more uh, prominent so that it is not looking too faded the white should stand out so in order to make the white stand out we also need to take the help of the other shades like gray and lastly black in this denim i will use gray for the shading purpose because guys the color of the blue is very light so we don't want to overdo the shadow then it will look little bit unnatural because since the color is light our shadow will not be way too dark you can see reference pictures and uh, understand that whenever the color is light we use gray for giving the shadow this way it will not look too out of the box and too much in contrast so the color should be in a very a similar manner so that everything comes and blends together really well so for lighter color of denim shades use gray for the shading purpose and at last you can use a fine sharpened black pencil to give the final outline in order to make the whole outline very neat and clean because your cleanliness is very important in the sketch otherwise if there is any pencil color bleeding out try to erase it and present a more clean uh, work okay so in the second denim texture i will not give any type of water color effect directly i am taking the pencil color and creating this type of texture by giving this type of circular strokes you can go very softly and with little pressure you can create this type of circular effect take your time guys because your texture and the pressure should be uniform and uh, don't be in a hurry take your time see how i'm holding the pencil little bit at the back this way you can create very softer strokes and uh, do it all over the base first 
also you can notice that this color is bit darker than the first denim which we did just now and uh, in this one we will go a little bit darker with the shade range so you can start with any color but it's up to you that where you want to stop you can keep on increasing the saturation level and the shade level that how dark you want Going with the second color here which is more darker than the first color which we have done and just the same technique guys that we start from the corner and then move towards the inward. So here we can try a different way of giving the textures. We can go with more darker pressure from the corner and uh, blend it towards the inward but just that I am trying to create a more little uh, like spots effect towards the center and also somewhere near the pockets also your pressure again is very important you can create very lighter strokes at the same time give your ultimate pressure to create very dark patches kind of effect Also while doing the color guys be careful not to ruin the pockets here because we need to make the pockets stand out since we are using lots of pencil texture. So if you are not careful everything will blend in together. So what you can do give double line that is the stitch line for the pockets and also keep lighter strokes and next to the lighter stroke keep darker stroke so that way now that contrast will be created and wherever there is contrast that a portion will immediately stand out and uh, second thing is that once you have done the texture with the darker color take the first color that is the lighter color and blend over the darker color so you can always layer your colors until you get that uh, smooth effect of the shade range.
सो एज यू कैन सी गाइज आई हैव यूज दिस डार्कर ब्लू टू क्रिएट लॉट्स ऑफ स्पॉट्स एंड टेक्शर्ड इफेक्ट ऑन द पॉकेट्स नियर द पॉकेट्स एंड नियर द आउटलाइन एंड लास्टली यूजिंग द ब्लैक हेयर आई विल नॉट यूज द ग्रे डिरेक्टली आई एम यूजिंग द ब्लैक टू क्रिएट वेरी डार्कर इफेक्ट बिकॉज द शेड ऑफ अवर डेनिम इज डार्क सो आई एम यूजिंग द ब्लैक टू क्रिएट द अल्टीमेट शेडिंग सो गाइज आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द अप्रोच between this two different look of the denim here we have used the blue color palette only but how we have created little bit different effect and also the shade range is important and i hope you will also try this out and practice this and you can always uh, share your works with me you can upload them on instagram and you can tag me and use the hashtag art studio by shabani so that it's easier for me also to come across the works under the hashtag so do let me know your views on this tutorial and for any other recommendations do share them in the comment section below if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe see you all very soon till then keep illustrating take care bye bye